Hello everyone and welcome to OnHow channel, the place where every day you learn something new. My name is Anas and I'm working for you, so if you have any tutorial request, let me know in the comments, I will be happy to do a video for you. Otherwise, let's get to our tutorial today, which is how you can find out the apps that has been used in a Shopify store. So if you saw a Shopify store that has some kind of function or some kind of cooler views or something, and you want to implement the same features in your store too. Well, there is a big chance that they may have been using a Shopify app to do that. And if you can figure out the Shopify app name, you can install it and has the same features that you want. So the ultimate solution for you is to find out the name of the Shopify app. And that's exactly what I want to show you right now. And before we start, I want you to know that we will do that without using any apps or websites or extensions, because there is a lot of extensions and tools that can show you the apps that has been used in a Shopify store. And if you are wondering why is that, just like I said in my previous video, what if suddenly the website stops working or the tool starts asking for money? So you don't have a way to know that. You can only pay the tool that's asking for money or you will not know the app of the Shopify store. But hopefully you click it on the right video because I will show you how you can find that the apps that has been used in a Shopify store just from your Google Chrome browser and just from the code of the website. And without any more talking, let's get to it. Just like in my previous video, I will use again Google search engine to find out a random Shopify store and we will do demonstration on it. So let's just type in, in Google search engine just like in my previous video in text two dots and two quotation marks and between them powered by Shopify. And we will add another query just to filter out the big websites because they do use a custom made apps in text two dots and two quotation marks again and between them I will use the same keyword in my previous videos which is women's bags and hit enter and as you can see a bunch of websites here and they are all shopify stores so let's just go for a random one to do demonstration here so let's just go for this one right here and as you can see it says here coming soon but i don't think this page is available on the team actually so you cannot add this on your team you can only add it by a custom app as far as I know and we will figure out down right now so we want to know the app that has been used in the Shopify store to show us this page right here so to do that the first thing you're going to do is simply right click on the page and after that click on this view page source option right here and it will open up this tab right here with a bunch of code on it and no worries you will not look at the code or inspect it or anything the simplest thing you will do is simply Control f if you are on windows i'm on mac i'm going to click on command f and it will show you this prompt right here at the top right corner of the browser and simply type in sync load and as you can see it did highlight something here and if it didn't simply hit enter and it will highlight it just like you see right now so let's just zoom in on it and as you can see it says here function sync load so basically this function of the sync load it will be used wherever the code has called an extension or an app from shopify and as you can see there is a link here that has nothing to do with the website the website that we are using right now called the roselonelystore.com and right here it says amazon dropshipping.com and it says here shopify app just like you see right now so let's just check it out I'm going to simply open up the, the website and here it is as you can see this is a dropshipping app for Amazon just like you see right now and if I click on download let's just see if it will redirect us to Shopify app and as you can see it did redirect us to Shopify app store and this is the the app that has been used in the Shopify store and I believe it has been used also another one not just this one let's just check that out right now now this is the only one that has been used in the Shopify store so I guess this uh, front page here right here with the with the newsletter subscription is available on the team it was not added by an app or anything so that's how you figure out the apps that has been used in a Shopify store and as I said if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments I will be happy to do a video for you otherwise I think my job is done and thanks for watching and catch you on next one